Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 9 French battleship, the Jean Bar. We're playing a match on the map Islands of Ice and this time I have a real battle for you guys. None of this stuff where the red team just folds in 4 minutes, okay? I spawned on the western side of the map and I'm gonna just sail straight towards the cap and then park next to that island that's in the A cap on my side. I was spotted for a bit, so I decided to use speed boost in case somebody fired at me, so that I would potentially avoid them. But it seems that nobody actually did take a shot on me, which is alright. I'm gonna take a gamble on a Kitakaze shot at 14 kilometers. I find it very unlikely that's gonna... yeah, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Well, if the destroyer is there, I guess I might as well focus on her. By the way, I am actually the secondary build. But I'm not a secondary build for the secondaries. I don't really care about the secondaries all that much. They're useful, but not that useful. I use it because of the battleship skill, which makes your main batteries reload 10% faster. Well, actually, I guess it's 11% faster when something is within my secondary range. Which is extremely useful, because it basically means 11% more main battery damage output. And as a JB, because you can get up to 12 km secondaries, that ability can be active decently often. Not to mention that the secondaries are still there, and they do do something. I just don't think you can re rely on them for anything. Oh! The enemy Mahan was in the cap, and she's leaving now. Okay, I guess I... I should probably start reversing. Also, I obviously used Reload Booster here, because Moss is so close. And we might actually be able to take her out. Oh, okay, that wasn't a great shot. 3,300 more. Probably should have swapped the AP at this point. Okay, one more shot. Ah, uh, doesn't look very good. Oh, 500 HP. Moss, do your thing, shoot her once, and she's gone. Come on. Okay, secondary hit, 64 HP. You just need to hit her once, Moss. Oh, come on. You didn't even hit him once? Are you serious? Well, I suppose. On the bright side, Mahan isn't exactly a destroyer that you need to be worried about. Because she doesn't have very long-range torpedoes. And Moss could potentially just sail out there, spot her, take one shot, and, well, at least finish her off. Okay, it seems Kitakaza has entered the cap again. I guess we'll just sit here and keep shelling the Massachusetts. I mean, the island is gonna block any torps from the Kitakaza. The Kitakaza also can't just smoke up and start shelling me, so I should be fine. Moss, please avoid the torpedoes. Come on. Okay, Moss is still alive, which means that she probably avoided the torpedoes. No, actually, I think she did get hit by a torpedo. Wow, what a disappointment. That is... That is extremely disappointing. I'm looking for requesting for support. Because, well, if our mass goes down, we are up against two destroyers and two battleships. Two tier 8 battleships, and we have a tier 9 battleship and a Gneisen now. So, it's... Con Okay, I guess we don't have a mass anymore. So now it's just me and the Gneisen now against two battleships and two destroyers. This is not a good fight for me, which is why I'm gonna reverse. I'm gonna try to reverse more than I am right now. Hopefully this will make the Kitakaza less interested in trying to go for me. And then once I am unspotted, I will try to go forward and do a turn away so that I can start running. I'm gonna turn left though, not right, because, well, if I turn right and I get spotted during the turn, chances are I'm gonna meet Kitakaza's torpedoes very soon, so I think it'll be better to turn to the left side. My concealment is 12.9 kilometers, as long as Mahan isn't in front of me, I should be alright. I think I got spotted by the Kitakaza, so when I go forward during my turn, I should get unspotted again, hopefully. I won't fire my gun either, you know, so that I actually stay unspotted. 
He's saying get back. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, but I'm trying to do it in a way where I don't get deleted. Massachusetts is close enough to actually spot me, but she's behind an island. And I think by the time that I am really visible, I should be turned enough that the shells shouldn't be able to punish me. Although the champagne may be, might be able to do that. I'll just have to hope that she doesn't do much damage to me. Also, secondaries are actually uh, pretty useful. They're actually outranging the message. Okay, I guess they're technically not outranging them anymore. They're simply... Uh, the angle is better, I suppose. I'm not really sure if using Ichi against the Massachusetts here has been a good plan. Mostly I've been doing it because, well, I don't think my AP would do much damage. It's These are 380s, and as you can see, the accuracy on them is pretty lackluster. So I wouldn't really expect all that much damage from AP. Although, I have to say, it feels as though the guns are extremely inaccurate, but actually they're not. They're not all that different from the accuracy of many other battleships. I think I've just been a little spoiled by some other ships that I've been playing more recently, like Georgia's, etc. Okay, when I go forward, I should actually be able to outrange the Massachusetts secondaries, because I have 12 kilometers secondary. Oh, come on. Mahan, 64 HP. Come on, secondary. Thank you very much. Okay, one destroyer down, but <laughs> sadly, a second destroyer joined the fight. There is a, a Leberet Mass on the way, which is probably not going to be a massive problem. I am on the border and I'm probably going to stay here. My plan here is to reverse, okay? I'm going to reverse towards Massachusetts and I'm going to try to finish her off with my HE. One thing I do think the JB is feels a little lackluster is I feel the engine is a bit weak for some of the battleship stuff I don't know maybe it's just my perception but it feels that she has an extremely hard time stopping the ship normally and if you don't have engine boost she also has trouble actually accelerating but that might just be because I don't have a propulsion mod I've been using propulsion mod so much that I am unused to how bad ships are at accelerating. Wow, I finally started reversing. It's unbelievable how long this takes on the map border, especially on a battleship. Okay, that's a permafire. She has 8000 HP. One or two more salvo should be an Oh, what is that dispersion? <laughs> it really feels like the barrels are just straight up bent. Okay, Massachusetts is gone. Great. Good. Good, 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 good. Arsonist. Nice. Also, we're actually at 2 million potential damage. Another complaint I have with the ship is that the armor is pretty lackluster. It's 32 millimeters all over. I mean, I know there's actually like a torp belt and stuff, but she takes a lot of damage from HE spam. Also, Yamatos are pretty bad for her. Wait, I'm still spotted. Hmm. So one of the destroyers is still hunting me, I guess. Kitakaza would be pretty scary. That's why I say requesting support. Then again, I only have 18k HP and I only have a single heal. Which I should probably use when it comes off cooldown, because maybe the maybe I'll get torped. Kitakas is leaving, so actually that's very encouraging. Yeah, that's actually extremely encouraging because uh, <laughs> I don't think I could actually win a fight against the Kitakaza when she focuses me with her guns. Because at least not if she is at the kinds of ranges she is at right now. It tends to be quite difficult to hit destroyers at this range. At least for much damage. But wait, the Leberet Mass also left. So there's no actual ship in A. So A is a free cap. All right, I'll take it. Luckily, though, my team is at least winning elsewhere. I mean, we have, what is that? Six, seven, seven ships versus five. By the way, this is actually a CV match. We haven't even 
I'm not even sure the CV planes have come onto our side of the map. And by this I mean the western side. Hey, I keep hitting the Kitakas at 15 km range. I mean, sure, it's not much damage, but it's damage nonetheless. Kind of ranked, I think. Wait, is she coming back? Oh no! No, no, okay, she isn't. She is. I think she might have stopped or maybe even reversed a little. Okay, KGV is a tier 7 battleship, which means that her bow is 20. Well, I wanted to say 25, but it's actually 26 millimeters these days. No matter though, 380 is overmatched that, so I should be able to deal penetrating damage hits against the KGV. Oh, if she just stops there, that's actually pretty good. Now I wonder, should I use Reload Booster right here? I mean, I could get a few shots off, but on the other hand, she is kind of far and she might just get unspotted. In which case, my Reload Booster would be wasted. I'm gonna go in slightly closer. Wait, planes? Oh no, I have to start turning in to the planes. Yeah, this is annoying. Go away, Lexington. By the way, the JB actually does do well in one aspect. She actually has pretty good anti-air as far as... Well, actually any ship is concerned. It's not like amazing, but it's pretty good. Oh, wait, what? What? I ran into the torpedo. And it still exploded, even though it hadn't armed. I guess it must have been laggy. My ping doesn't seem to be very stable, so I suppose that, that has to explain it. Okay, a drop from behind is easy to avoid, so that'll be alright. And I should be able to get the cap from that. Sadly, I have used all of my heals at this point, which means that the 24,000 HP I have is all I am going to have. So I think uh, continued attacks by the aircraft carrier are going to be a major problem. Because I have no way to regain any of my health. I'm still gonna go north though, even using speed boost. Because even though the CV is right there, I should be able to take a few swipes at the KGV at least. And I mean, we're winning anyway, so it's not actually that bad. Okay, I don't like... Yeah, I didn't like that. A fire. I don't have damage control party available. And they're actually going to come for a second strike too. Hmm. That's not great. Maybe we can turn a little and maybe take less damage from the rocket planes as a result of the turn. Avoid it a little bit. Oh, we actually got the KGV. Oh, hello Kitakase. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> nice! A double strike! And we even got the Kitakaze! By the way, the mass was coming back as well, which is surprising. I am in a bit of a pickle though. CV fighter planes on top of me would be stellar right about now. Okay, let's hope that we can avoid the torps. Uh, doesn't look likely. I'm gonna get hit by one, I think. Yeah, and I had to use damage control party because of it too. Mars is in the A cap, but I don't think it'll matter too much. Still, I, I can't go there. I have to keep angling against the CV planes, otherwise I'll just take more and more damage. In fact, just a single good strike by rocket planes would be enough to finish me. Okay, come on, turn, please. Oh, actually, I think the turn is gonna... Yeah! <laughs> nice! So, basically, when a ship turns, they slide sideways a little bit, right? And this can make these kinds of attacks from the front kind of difficult to predict when the ship is turning. You have to factor that kind of sliding into account, especially on something like dive bombers. Which is the next type of plane that's coming. Damn, I don't think I can even reload booster against the Lexington. Maybe we can do some damage though, because yeah, we're gonna turn broadside, this is our only hope. Come on, maybe last shot. Okay, we got that off at least. Come on. Dang it. Oh, so close. I mean, if I had survived that shot, I probably would have gotten my reload booster off on her as well. And maybe if I even couldn't have sunk her, I could have gotten damn close. 
But anyway, this is this should be basically unlosable at this point. We have Ignizer now. Wait, is that is that Ignizer now that was with me at the start? Might be. <laughs> if it is, well done by him. Like seriously, well done by him. Suri is gonna fight the Moss, which uh, is not really a fight that's fair, because the Suri should have Hydro and the Moss doesn't have much HP. Synop gets a compliment, mostly because she is actually going towards the Lexington. Everyone else is extremely far away, and Synop also kept the middle base. Moss is gonna have a bad time in a moment. Goodbye. So, Suri says surprise to the destroyer. I don't think the destroyer was surprised that the Suri was there. Pretty sure she knew. Anyway, this is basically over. There's no chance to lose. Sin up. In this match, actually. And there, in the distance, is the Lexington. Sadly, the Lexington will not sink in this match because it's over. Hundred and seventy K damage. Arsonist, double strike, close quarters expert, high caliber. Even kept the base. Sadly, one ship off of a Kraken, but 2588 base XP. I am very happy with this result. Also, well played by that Atlanta and the Synop. 2.2 million potential damage. Oh, wow. So the 21 planes I shot down were all actually attack planes. None of them were fighters, which is quite nice. 52k anti-air damage. Considering that I only got attacked at the end there, that's pretty damn good. The JB does have pretty damn good anti-air though. Like seriously, as far as, well, any ship is concerned, it's pretty damn good. Also, <laughs> 98k damage to that Massachusetts. She did like 45k to me. Ah, pretty good for me, I guess. Anyway, Captain Skills. Emergency Repair Specialist, Grease the Gears, Adrenaline Rush, Emergency Repair Expert, Concealment Expert, then Close Quarters Combat. And I take this for the main battery reload time minus 10% when an enemy is within my secondary range. Then this obviously also means that I want to increase my secondary range as much as possible so that it triggers as often as possible. So I also take the secondary range skill. Then upgrades wise, obviously reload, then concealment, then damage control because, well, I don't have any other damage control stuff. And then obviously secondary range, engine boost. And last, I go for auxiliary armaments modification one, but I'm not sure, maybe main arms modification one is actually better. Because I have had quite a few instances where my glass turrets were basically knocked out. But this does give me 12 km secondaries. Which means that I benefit from the boost quite often. And then, you know, put throw in a reload booster and we're firing a shot in less than every 10 seconds. Especially when you add in some adrenaline rush too. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.